The Stockade is a high-security prison complex hidden beneath the Canal District of Stormwind City. Presided over by Warden Thalewater, the Stockade is home to petty crooks, political insurgents, murderers, and a score of the most dangerous criminals in the land. Recently, a prisoner-led revolt has resulted in a state of pandemonium within the Stockade, where the guards have been driven out and the convicts roam free. Warden Thalewater has managed to escape the holding area and is currently enlisting brave thrill seekers to venture into the prison and kill the uprising's mastermind, the cunning felon Basil Thread. As the stockades are located deep within Stormwind, they're considered an alliance only dungeon. Although the Horde has no quests that lead to the dungeon, they can still venture into the zone and run the dungeon for its loot. It's not recommended as only Brugal Iron Knuckle or Rare Spawn has any loot that's worthwhile. As mentioned, the stockade is located within Stormwind in the Canal District near the Mage Quarter. The minimum level for entry is level 15. It is advised for characters levels 22 to level 30. The Stockade has six quests available to Alliance players. These quests are Quell the Uprising, The Color of Blood, Crime and Punishment, What Comes Around, The Fury Runs Deep, and The Stockade Riots. Quell the Uprising starts and ends with Warden Thalewater, who is located directly outside the entrance to the dungeon. This quest requires you to kill 10 Defias prisoners, 8 Defias convicts, and 8 Defias insurgents. The Color of Blood starts and ends with Nikova Rascal, who patrols around the old town of Stormwind. This quest requires you to loot 10 Red Wool Bandanas, which can be acquired from any of the Defias mobs within the instance. Crime and Punishment starts and ends with Councilman Millstripe, who is located in the Town Hall of Darkshire in Duskwood. This quest requires you to loot the Hand of Dextran Ward from one of the bosses in the instance, Dexton Ward. What Comes Around starts and ends with Guard Burton, located right outside of the Inn of Lakeshire in Redridge. This quest requires you to loot the head of Targor from the orc boss within the instance. The Fury Runs Deep starts and ends with Motley Garmison in Dun Motor of the Wetlands. This quest requires you to loot the head of Deep Fury from Cam Deep Fury, a dwarf boss within the instance. Keep in mind, the Fury Runs Deep does have a prerequisite, that quest being the Dark Iron War. This is an elite quest, so you will need a group to finish it. Finally, for the Stockade Riots, we're heading back to Warden Thalewater, outside of the instance. This quest requires you to loot the head of Basil Thread, who is typically, depending on the order you kill the bosses, the last boss of the instance. This quest is part of a chain. There are two prerequisites, beginning with the Unsent Letter, which is a quest obtained within the Dead Mines, which I mentioned in my Dead Mines video, which I'll link above. Uh, that quest starts with an item that drops off of Edwin Van Cleef. That's it for this quick look at the story and the quests within the stockades. Thank you for all the support I've received over on Reddit and the comments uh, on my previous videos. Please make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and hit subscribe for my next video, which is going to be covering the Gnomer again. Thank you all very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.